We spent a lot of time together. In fact, I was there when he set the record at Radio City Music Hall for wow. attendance. And it's wonderful when you think about Las Vegas records, but back then, setting the record at Radio City Music Hall was a big deal. So that's our friend Liberace. And did your association with Lee bring you to Las Vegas one? Yeah, he, he brought me here. I, um, I had served on the Liberace Foundation board from New York for many years. Uh, and after he passed away, his sister-in-law, Dora, was running the foundation. She asked me to come help uh, as she was retiring. And uh, I frankly lived in New York, had an aisle seat at Carnegie Hall, and uh, traveled the world, and had no interest really in moving to Las Vegas. But when Liberace and the family asked that I do it, of course I came. And it was wonderful times back then. By the way, Robin said this was the pool room. Uh, this room didn't exist when the pool was here. Uh, this was an exterior pool, and this was added to the house when they needed a ballroom as they started doing more and more events. And what would Lee think of the lavish new Smith Center? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't mind telling you that as we were in design for the Smith Center, um, uh, many times uh, my friend Lee came to mind as we traveled the world getting the very best stone from Italy and the very best materials from around the world because that's how he would have done it. Uh, we built something to last for years. And, and I, I also want to mention a couple of things. Um, at your beautiful hotel there's a, a, a great uh, bigger than life size uh, statue of Elvis. I think all of us would encourage you to make a bigger than life size statue of Liberace too. But if you don't mind. And, and I also want to share that, that many of Liberace's uh, family lived right here in this neighborhood as well, including your, your uh, enjoying some food from his cookbook, Liberace Cooks. Well, Gladys Lucky was the lady that he called his mom. Uh, she spent many times in this kitchen right through there, uh, and that's her cookbook. She lived, I, I mean, just around the corner. In fact, I remember when I was at the foundation, she came in one day and she said, uh, my water bill is so high. And I said, well, why is that? She said, I don't know. Would you come look? <laughs> like I know anything about, you know, water bills. <laughs> uh, and I did, and uh, we found her backyard was flooded from sprinklers, so uh, I got a buddy of mine to spend a Saturday afternoon to fix Gladys Lucky's backyard, because she did so much for all of us. Larry, thank you so much for your stories. Thank you so much for being here, for all you do for Arts in Las Vegas. Your work enriches us all. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone.